trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv well hello everybody it's palm mash tv time again thanks for joining us again and we got a uh, great interview coming up for you in just a couple moments. But before we get into that, uh, if you like this interview, obviously just click that subscribe button, click the bell, and you're always going to get notified whenever we get a new interview for you. So I hope you do that for us. And check out the comment section. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you there. And uh, you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And feel free to inbox us, comment and everything you see, and uh, of course like the page. And uh, also, uh, if you want to send us an email, it's palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And you can use that not just if you're a band or solo artist wanting to be on a show, but if you're simply a fan, you can use that same email address. We'd love to hear from you. And we're going to recap all this for you at the closing credits at the end of the show, so please stay tuned for that. From Troy, New York, we have Tiff Hollyhood. Uh, another talented artist and I think you're going to agree by the time uh, we get done with this episode and uh, we'll get to that in just a moment but here's a quick word from Click Jam so don't go away we'll be right back we got history got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me Okay, everybody, it's our interview section of our show, and with us from Troy, New York, we have Tiff Hollywood. Thanks for joining us, Tiff. Hey. Thanks for yeah, no problem. We're glad to have you here today. Um, well, why don't we start off by asking the obvious question, uh, how did it begin for you as far as, as far as being an artist goes? I mean, everyone has their own story, so let's hear yours. Well, I grew up in Harlem, New York, and my grandmother will always put us like talent shows and like church choirs and things like that and school choirs so I started off with like that and then as I got older my boyfriends that I were uh, that I um, was around they would be um into like rap battles or into doing rap so and then I started drawing my ear to that and then I found that I was more in tune with rap than I was with church music so I kind of started doing rap that way and now I kind of do everything so Okay, so you can you can pretty much do any genre, I guess, then, right? Yeah, I kind of do a little R and B here and there. Um, um, one of the tracks that I have coming out this week is an R and B track, um, and most of the time I rap, you know. Oh, okay. Well, that's quite a story there. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing there. Uh, how long have you been doing this? <laughs> uh, like forever. I was oh. like singing since I was in elementary school, rapping probably like. Um, like late, late, late teens, early 20s. Mm, okay. Well, tell us about your influences. Like you said, you do just about any genre. I'm sure there are some influences you uh, you enjoy listening to growing up that uh, helped you influence you in your songwriting and singing abilities. Definitely. Um, I like Little Kim. I like Nicki Minaj. I like Mary J. Blige. I like Lauren Hill. Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z is always a favorite. Um, there's so many TLC, um, Aaliyah. Um, I mean, there's just so many. All of those people play a huge part into where I go with music. Mm. Well, that's that's good because, you know, Nicki Minaj obviously is a very good singer, so I can see why. Uh... Let me not, too. I forgot about her. Um, oh, okay. And uh, I think you mentioned Lauren Hill and Biggie Smalls, all those, all those are great ones. So, um, well, tell everybody how we can find out about your music. Uh, I mean, is it all streaming platforms? Can we get physical copies of your stuff? Uh, let us know. Yes, my name is Tiff Hollyhood on all social media um, platforms. Tiff Hollyhood on Facebook, my music page where you can see all my music and my videos and my drop dates right on um, Facebook under Tiff Hollyhood. On Instagram, Tiff underscore Hollywood. If you click on the link at the bottom, that sends you to all my social media, my Snapchat, my emails, my store location, everything. 
and it's under 10k cards right on my instagram okay can can we find you on all streaming platforms too like uh yep. Um, all streaming platforms, all digital platforms, to Hollywood, um, Apple, Spotify, iTunes, Tidal, um, Google Play, everything, just under Tiff Hollywood. And that's capital H's, H-O-L-L-Y-H-O-O-D. Okay. Not well, I I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just making sure. I added not Hollywood, Hollywood. Yeah. So a lot of okay. people confuse that. All right. Well, I'm sure Miss Hollywood here would love it if she just gets some of her music. I know she would uh, really love that. And uh, especially uh, speaking of your music, uh, in just a moment, we're going to be playing one of your music videos. Uh, uh, can you tell us the title of that again? And is there a story behind that song? Um, so the song is called The Self Is Over. Basically, you know, I just feel like music has changed um, from New York being dominant and just just hearing us as artists. And we got overshadowed by the people in the South with this different style of music. It's not bad, but I feel like I need to address some of the people that are their um, influencers or their idols um, in the South that I feel like just shouldn't have the recognition that they get, but... That's just me, being an artist, just speaking my piece. And some people might say I'm being a, build, a bully or a troublemaker, but I'm just speaking as, you know, as a fail, expressing myself through my art. So it's called The South Is Over. You might like it, you might not share it. I took KRS-One's um, old beat and remixed it a little bit. The original song was The Bridge Is Over. He, you know, he came at Queen's Bridge and all that. So you'll understand where I'm going with. Oh, okay. Well, I, I did not know that. That's good trivia about the KRS One thing. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure that makes it even better. You know, <laughs> so. a bunch of older people, yeah, that I was around, just said, "Okay, you do this, you do that. You say you're a diverse artist. Well, tap into some old school." I'm like, "Hmm." It was difficult at first because the flow is very different. But I was like, "You know what? I'm up to all challenges. Let's go." <laughs> so I did it. Yeah. Okay. And it came up with so. All right. Well, we'll get to that in just a moment. But uh, I think that's all the time we have for right now, Tiff. But uh, thank you again for coming on the show. And uh, maybe well, maybe you have another song to show us. Uh, maybe we'll have you back sometime. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Well, here it is. The South is Over by Tiff Hollywood right here on Palm Ash TV. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Hollywood. The old heads told me I had to jump on this one, though. Respectfully. Yeah. <laughs> Let me talk my shit. <laughs> Hear me? Ha. Uh, the South is over, the South is over. The South is over, the South is over. Hey, hey, the South is over, the South is over. The South is over, the South is over. You see me coming in the game, disrespectful on the track. About time somebody brought the East Coast back. If you joined the South, then you must suck a D. If that's the case, don't come around, Holly. That nigga young thug be dressing like he gay. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Acting like hip hop started in the South. Shit like that, they get you punched in the mouth. Uh, tell him again, me come to tell him again. Gone. Tell him again, me come to tell him again. Tell him again, me come to tell him again. Gone. Tell him again, me come to tell him again. The East keep on making it, West keep on taking it, Midwest keep creating it, the South keep on faking it. <laughs> I'm surprised BX fuck one of you niggas Money bag yo ain't nothing but the fraud In future he's just a little fucking broad Diggy, please tell Ross he's not Biggie He ain't that fly and he ain't from my city Little baby you can look and tell he bluffing All that shit he pop, he ain't gonna do nothing Scarf is a legend, now nah, I beg to differ Bun be a fake pimp slash ass kisser Gucci, why you thin Lucci? trash, never did I give a fuck about Don't tolerate disrespect and plus will tell lies to me. 
me. Everybody talking about the South still running, but they still telling lies to me. Laugh out loud. <laughs>